Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims 4. This is Gazoo Requiem. So, today we'll be doing something a little bit different. If you follow my Twitch, you will know that I have been doing a legacy challenge. And today we're going to do something similar. On the Twitch I've been doing a short legacy, meaning they have short lifespans, makes it a little bit more hectic. Um, and as usual, we were playing this Rex to Riches style. Hardcore Rex to Riches style, honestly, but that's how I prefer it. And the thing that's different about this is we're going to focus on making it so we're mostly dumpster diving. I'm gonna try to do an evil lifestyle type of run, even though. As you might be able to tell, we are not in the eco lifestyle world. We're in new grass, but I think it's fun in that way. And that way, over the generations, we can build up new grass more and more. Um, as you can see, there are other houses here. There's one here, and then there's like. There's the community center that I built. And uh, in the other two neighborhoods, I have one house in each one, and that's because I have a mod. That makes it so people from other, like, worlds are less likely to show up. Or just don't spawn at all. When you're playing. So it's a little bit more realistic so you don't have, like, island living people just randomly showing up in Newcrest, you know. So I have a few families set up so that she has some people to interact with. This is our sim. Her name is Cassidy Callahan. I went with Callahan because it flowed with Cassidy pretty well. That was fun. She is an adorable sim. Um, and well, I guess let's get started. The main rules of this is just I'm gonna try not to abuse the community center so much. But obviously, in this kind of thing, it's inevitable. I used the tool mod to place dumpsters in most worlds, um, so we can do it outside of the eco lifestyle world, and this should work after a while. I've tested it previously, and since it's tied to this lot and not to like a different lot, it should register over time. And then there's also the community center that we can access and go to these two dumpsters here but since there's already two dumpsters here i only added one but you still have to go through a loading screen on this one so that's the main thing um i did change the day cycle a little bit so that it was starting to get light so you guys can see um my base save file is like at 11 p.m right now on the first day because I've been going through the worlds and editing things. But hopefully we'll do things like that. And I'm going to have her just go jogging for a bit while we actually don't jog. We're gonna have you do an alternative, which is nature walking because you'll get gardening skill from that as opposed to fitness which isn't that big of a deal but we will need gardening for like plants and such not that it's going to be like a huge thing probably but to self-sustain yourself we also have the cooking overhaul mod by seriously sims and it makes it so like we have a custom beehive where she can get honey and beeswax from to make candles and we can also utilize the grubs and such from eco lifestyle back as well as cow plants and cow plants can give you milk as opposed to like life essence of sims you still have to get eaten once to milk the cow, but 
as long as you don't do it more than once in like a 12 hour period you never really have to worry about your sims dying just keep an eye on them you know unlock the gate for the cow plant um, when you're specifically needing to Yeah, I figured Newcrest would be a good fit because of the fact that it's really open and I don't have to worry about specific sims. I also have mod to allow strays to appear in other worlds because having them only in Binghamton Bay doesn't make sense. Like, you don't keep all the animals of the world in one central spot you know they exist elsewhere or in the planet so that kind of mod makes a lot more sense at least to me um now i keep an eye yes we can die for deals now it works i am very very happy about that i'm gonna let her finish her nature walk die for deals and as usual, we start with zero money, so. That's how it is. And let's show you our, one of our first people that I've made. This is Julian Payton. He is married to another guy who lives here. He is, um, a, and I know I've said Previously, I would never make a sim like this because it just doesn't fit my playstyle and I feel like it's a ticking a box or whatever. And I still believe in that, but I think it works for what I want to build and whatever. He's a trans character and he is a athlete. He's actually pregnant right now, <laughs> but he doesn't know that yet. Um, this is Noah Rod Rodriguez. He lives in one of the houses, like, down in the other, um, neighborhoods. The other people who live in this house, um, are Julian's husband and Julian's husband's younger sister, who is a teen. And hopefully we'll meet up with them at some point soon. Some point? Some point soon. I just wanted to stop the clock to see what we could see for that. I'm gonna have her introduce herself to him because there's a bit of a secret here, but um, oh, she got a toilet. What, where are you going? Um, this is the second version of this, because I recorded like four episodes of this previously. And then I realized that I recorded them at the streaming resolution, so they were pretty low quality. They weren't like 280p or anything, but they were- I wanted them to be 720p at least for when I put them up. Stop trying to go skating. Introduce yourself to him. I don't know if she'll still like him a lot because stuff is randomized, but we'll see if her attraction to him is super high or not. Just listen to me for like two seconds, woman. I mean, save all time before selected sim so you'll listen to me for two seconds. I couldn't see what the name was. Um, this is his- one of his roommates. Uh, I have forgotten her name and it didn't give me long enough to actually read that, but he has a male roommate and a female roommate. Oh. Yep, she really likes him. They're probably gonna marry these two. If it works out, because this comes with Wonderful Whims, which is a safer work version of Wicked Whims. 
but it comes with that low settings as well as the attractiveness thing so sims will think other sims are attractive or non-attractive based on their attributes and traits and she really likes him so and if they'd stay still for like two seconds I swear the only ones in Newgrass that actually have jobs and such are the ones in this household because the two uh, husbands I created with the story creation tool so that they have careers and different starting stuff as well as skills which is great This does it show his name? Oh, there they are. This is Lexi Payton, who is the little sister of the other guy who lives here. And I love her. She is so pretty, and a bit of a snob-looking character. She doesn't have the snob trait, I don't believe. But like, look at that face. And this is actually the younger brother of the of this girl. I believe. No wait. She's the younger brother of another woman I have made for a new dress. He actually has three roommates because I added one. A male roommate that he lives with um, other than her so he lives with her and one other guy and that guy's daughter who's a toddler because I thought it'd be fun if he was like a single dad and the toddler I hope she we see her because she is so stinking cute it's nah. doubtful since she's a toddler that we'll see her around the world but who knows Oh yeah, I forgot to disable that. Relationship settings, personality settings. I do not want the notifications because they're kind of useless to me. It just explains why she knows things about him and I don't need to know exactly why. You know? Let's see. Yeah, Prasim is extremely attractive. So. And we want to go with someone she really likes, you know? And because we have the... Because we have the attraction option, you know? I want... Or to pick someone that she likes. He say you know, yeah. I mean, it'd be weird because I like just put him in the world. But MCC likes to do that sometimes, so you never know. Can you, like, leave? <laughs> You're not part of this conversation. He's embarrassed because he has the insecure trait, so he gets embarrassed really easily. Which is kind of annoying, but... Yay. Even though they're on the short lifespan, I'm not gonna rush them too much. Like, I could easily get them married, like, within 24 hours, but I'm not gonna do that. Cause that's a little finicky. I'm not a person. And all her neighbors are here. Which is just him. I don't know why. We haven't seen, like, oh, there he is. 
this is his husband who is just like very feminine he's not trans or anything he's just a normal gay dude but um he is a florist he, he has a painter career but he's basically a florist so that's why they have the garden up front and you saw the florist table on the front so it's fun she's not gonna eat that because she's gonna get sick and then she's gonna bitch and not want to do anything I'm just gonna have her do this one more time and then she'll meet the neighbors her gay neighbors I was thinking about what extra sims to add and this is just I found this house with three beds no no it was a full bed and then it was a single bed and I was like we could have a couple and then one other person and that's and I was like why not have a gay couple <laughs> but I want them to have kids so one of them can conceive, you know. thought that was fun. It was really hard to make him and make him look good. I just greeted you, what the heck? That's fine. We'll get over it. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes to like 25 to 35 minutes. But, there's no... Guarantee that'll happen. She can fix this up and sell it if she wants. I think she would sell this because it's a really expensive toilet. She can get a cheaper one. And honestly, this toilet can probably put forward the money to pay for the like first stuff you know chatting. Now he left. Oh, look at the baby. Now she can get parts and such. I don't think you get any more money for cleaning it up, but I am going to clean it up because that makes sense. What are you doing? I'm clean. And I'm gonna be a little bit easier on them this time. Because usually when I play like a rags to riches, as you guys know, I don't like to just sell things like this in like cast or in the inventory but like for this I will allow it. These things need to be recycled though. So now we have enough money to start something basic. So I think we can get a three by three. Put that down. This is bugging me. Actually, yeah. I want the one that I can change the color on. Is. We kind of want like this, but 
were for. Yeah, they're all the same size. But I don't like how it looks. I'll do a dark one. Let's see, can we afford... Nope. Can we afford a toilet? No. <laughs> I was so... Oh, it's freaking A. Let's see. I have a custom content showing up at least. Now this will show up. I don't know why it's listed as a debug item, but we'll just have to do it that way. So we still need a little bit more before we can get that, but we've made some good progress. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have her go to the community center for the first time. And for future things, I'm probably going to cut out um, loading screens like this. But for now, I can show you my mint green loading screen, <laughs> which you can't read anything on. <laughs> but I think it's pretty. I don't know. I have a custom cast and I have a custom loading screen. Custom cast with a working mirror. So I'm gonna have her nap here for a minute, just so she can get her sleeping up, and we'll deal with this cold action crap. You know, I put two recyclers here because um half the time when I go to community lots, like um. It get taken up, the one that would be taken up, and it would just be a pain in the ass. And let's dive for deals. And ingredients. Because we will want. Oh, here's the other girl. This is the older sister of the other kid. It's Annabelle. She is so cute. I love her. <laughs> oh, and here's her other roommate. I believe... yeah, Julius. I think I accidentally just realized I named two people in... New crest, almost identical names. Oops. Now what does she have? Recycled trash pile and trash pile. And we can recycle that. That'll be great. Diving for ingredients. Yeah, you can just eat the carrot root for now. Let's see. It's closed? Did I just miss it? Oh my god, I think I just missed it. Yeah, I was saying it was closed. I thought it was saying that it was closing. Darn. Oh, I can throw this stuff in here. And then, voila! Then we'll shop for ingredients. Shop. <laughs> Dive. I 
just hope you guys are having a great holiday. I hope to get this first episode up tonight on Christmas Eve as kind of like a, oh my god, Kazu's back and doing something that she might actually finish. I feel so bad about, like, the recent stuff because... My life this year was so turbulent because of the stuff that was happening with Alex's family that we were living with, being kicked out, almost becoming homeless, um, and then moving into our first apartment. And the last few months have also been like a bit turbulent because she's just settling into our first apartment and we still have some stuff in boxes. So it's, it's finally calmed down. And emotionally calmed down too. So it kind of, what the heck? Why is there a TV here? No, I don't accept this. I think it spawned here after they like got it from the trash and i think that that is um not okay hey yeah make fun make fun of <laughs> make friends with the sister why not sister's brother the girl's brother Jax. <laughs> Like, not in a romantic way, just like, get to know your neighbors, you know? Because she's already gonna be uh, real close with the other guy. <laughs> and this kid is too young. Yeah, he has a romantic trait. I think it's romantic and, uh... <laughs> I can't remember, honestly. It was like, bookworm or something. See. Yeah, she can't use that, so just toss it in there. Toss that in there. And die for ingredients. I want you to possibly get some fruit or something that you can utilize. That'd be really good. Yeah, as I was saying, like, I feel so bad about the series that I had started. Like, the decade challenge was an immediate bust, but that was because so much stuff was happening at the time. And then I started with the Minecraft stuff, and stuff happened during that, which was the whole, like, getting kicked out thing, and then I started sheltered, and sheltered kind of like, I just lost interest after a few days. Wow, we got a money tree sapling. I'm gonna plant that. That's extremely rare and lucky, so. But I'm like, I'm just really sorry. <laughs> that all of that happened and caused like me to not finish anything so doing something like this like a short legacy i think we can manage and do and i can i can promise that i can finish that without too much difficulty you know and i really want to do that for you guys because i know you guys enjoy the videos and i see you you know like, I see every like that comes on the video, I see every comment, I reply to every comment, I honestly can. The only ones that I don't really reply to as much are the ones that are on the tutorial video I made a while back, because it's kind of outdated now, and I honestly just don't have the information to help people who are struggling with it, because I haven't worked on it in so long. But, like, I really appreciate everyone who watches, and I want their watching to mean something because I want to actually finish these things that I start instead of doing three episodes every single time and then dropping them. <laughs> I'm completely aware that that's, a, that's been what's happening, and I don't like it either. But, you know... 
New Year's coming. And it's Christmas Eve. So, even of those who don't celebrate, I hope you guys have a great evening. But, we're gonna have fun with this one. I think so. Now let's see. And more mushroom. I'm gonna have her take a shower. No, 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 no. Oh. Oopsie. When she wakes up, I'll have her take a shower. And then, like, take a nap on the bench. Just to help her get through a little bit. And then we're gonna work on this. Who are you? This is a randomly generated sim, and she's both pretty and terrifying. She is pretty terrifying. What the heck? <laughs> Her name is Devon Julian. I have so many Julian adjacent names. Stop it. <laughs> Gosh. Get your shower and run to the bench before you pass out. But you're probably going to pass out before you even finish showering. Which is... Not ideal. I should have stopped her shower early. Just like nap for a good like four hours. Where, where did this come from? I'm ignoring these items. I'm not. I'm not utilizing them. Angela Plus, and I'm like, who is that? I'll have her do this, and then we will go and recycle. Provided that it's not taken up by Jackson, his sister. Hot daydreaming. She's having dreams about the dude. Which is funny. And now let's recycle. This one that's burnt. This one, this one, and this one. Hopefully I'll be able to buy my own recycler relatively soon. I want to get a recycler and a candle maker. As well as, um, insects. And, uh, a bee box. Da. Now go home. Because you've been here for way too long. <laughs> One little thing that I did today for the first time is a uh, game. I made these Ritz cracker like things. Um, they like Ritz crackers with a uh, brown middle, and then I dipped them in chocolate that I melted. Um, they turned out okay. It could have been better, but I accidentally grabbed like really dark chocolate chocolate chips instead of milk chocolate ones and I think when I do the second batch I'm going to uh, take the chocolate I already have melt it down again then I'm gonna add some more milk to it so that it's a lot thinner so it's not as thick and strongly tasting 
The ones I made are still pretty good, but they could be better. And tomorrow, I'm going to be making a feast for me and Alex. Um, we got a, like, 13 pound turkey, we got like a mini ham, you know the ones that are like... Uh, maybe like, five inches wide, and they're like half of a piece, and then they're pre-sliced in the little slices. Alex loves those, so we are going to be making one of those and mashed potatoes and more potatoes and mac and cheese and rolls just for me and him and it's gonna last forever but I'm really excited but do you not I did I didn't get rid of the toddler bed oh whoops there we go and this can be just be sold straight out so I think now we can we'll do that. See debug. I can get this. It's not a debug item. I don't know why it's like shows up like it is, but. And then I can get this. So she can do that. She still can't sleep, but she can bathe. And that's what's important right now. <laughs> she can bathe after doing stuff or whatever. Um, and I'm going to plant my money tree. And, ooh, the coconut is in this season. I didn't think it would be, but. And plant. It's off. I'm gonna sell this kitchen plate. And with that, I should have enough money to make a pseudo house. By that, I mean it's going to have a roof. So you just take this, go it up, ceiling, and it has two posts that are holding it, which makes it kind of make sense, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet, because I don't have enough money for it, really. Um, let's see, I have enough money for a bench. I do. How much is a tent? Open that up. For the cheapest tent is four twenty, which is not ideal. Because we can get a bed for cheaper than that, but it needs to be covered, so who knows? Um I'm gonna go over to my dumpster and dive for ingredients. Who is that? Oh that's Jonathan. I guess he changed his mind. He's like, man, it's raining. I don't think I should skate in this weather. Anyway, it looks like that's about time, so I think that's a good start. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, just let me know down below. 
Um, and I hope you guys look forward to more episodes. See you next time. Namurie.